It's a scam amounting to hundreds of thousands of dollars, and it all has to do with machines like this one. Not your average ATM, but Bitcoin. York Regional Police say more than 40 people have been defrauded after handing over money to who they think is police using digital currency. With an envelope filled with cash, thinks she's avoiding being arrested because of unpaid taxes owed to the Canadian Revenue Agency. She thinks she's on the phone with them as she puts her money into the Bitcoin machine. And basically what the fraudsters are doing is convincing people over the phone that they're either the police or that they're with the Canada Revenue Agency and uh, that they're instructing people on what to do to get out of um, either to help a family member that might be in jail or to help pay off back taxes that are owed. She's one of more than 40 people scammed into giving money through Bitcoin, a worldwide virtual currency and peer-to-peer -peer payment system. A fraudster calls victims claiming to be York Regional Police or the CRA, demanding they provide money that they owe. The fraudsters are using a new scam, which is basically spoofing uh, call display numbers. So when they're putting these calls out there, they're showing up on phones as uh, we've seen in some cases York Regional Police. Uh, some of the phone numbers that we have, our, our actual phone numbers are showing up on the call display. It's not us calling, but it looks like that. What's difficult for police is that Bitcoin is not regulated, so there is no paper trail. And also means that victims like this won't be able to get their money back. Four machines in total are being used in York Region, two in the Vaughan area, one in Markham, and this Bitcoin ATM at this Hasty Market in Richmond Hill. The store's owner says there was almost a fight inside his Hasty Market when a man came in accusing them of taking his wife's money. Recently, one customer came in at night time. That gentleman was here. And he walked in, he smashed the machine, and was trying to get the money. Police say they do not believe the stores in York Region are involved with the scam whatsoever, but the fact it's happening inside his hasty market is enough to make Mahmoud al-Rahabi consider removing the Bitcoin machine altogether. To be honest, yeah, last two weeks, yeah, yeah, I was thinking to get rid of it. Police wants everyone to know that they will never call you on behalf of the CRA or ask for money for taxes. There is also a disclaimer on most Bitcoin machines telling people not to pay third parties like the CRA. In Richmond Hill, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.